Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss one of the most interesting topic production of beer. So how the beer is produced and manufactured in the industries, let us see in this video. So beer is defined as a fermented alcoholic beverage which is mainly produced from barley, wheat, rice, etc. Right? Any one of the product is used for the production of the beer. But in many industries, barley is highly used for the production of beer such that quality beer can be produced from this barley itself rather than this wheat or rice. Okay? So now let us see what are the ingredients which are required for the production of the beer. Barley. I mean in the case of barley you can also take wheat or as rice but for the good quality production of the beer you can use barley and another one is yeast, hops, water and adjuvants. So how are these ingredients are used for the production of beer? Let us see now. So now let us discuss about the production of the beer. And normally the production of the beer can occur by using a, by performing a technique called as fermentation. So fermentation is used even for the production of organic acids or also the antibiotics. Fermentation is a process which is highly used. So what is fermentation and what is the fermenter, the, the, design, the design of the fermenter each and everything has been already explained in before video and the link will be given in the description box. So by using that link you can watch that video such that you can understand the concept of the fermentation. Right. So here the production of the beer can occur by a technique called as fermentation. So what is the main aim of the fermentation? The primary metabolites will get converted into secondary metabolites by performing the fermentation process. So in the production of the beer, this barley acts as primary metabolite whereas the beer which has been produced from that fermentation is called as secondary metabolite so how this barley can convert into beer this can be converted by a fermentation process so how the fermentation technique is applied for the production of beer each and everything will be discussed now so the first step what you are going to do is that you are going to take barley and what you are going to do is that you are going to convert this barley into barley powder so if you see the diagram, I mean if you see the picture at the left side, then you can see this is called as a mill and in this mill you are going to add this barley and you are going to switch on the mill such that the barley which you have added into that mill will get converted into barley powder. Okay, from that outlet the barley powder will be protruded out, it will get, uh, it will get produced from, it, from the outlet, the barley powder will get produced from the outlet of this mill and the process of conversion barley into barley powder by using a mill is called as milling right so now if we have obtained barley powder from that mill right and now what you are going to do is that you are going to take a vessel if you see the picture which has been provided at the left side this is called as a vessel and in that vessel you are going to add this barley powder and along with this barley powder you are also going to add the water right and now what you are going to do is that you are going to provide heat below that vessel and the and the temperature which should be maintained is 75 degrees celsius for two to four hours this uh, you know this stirring should be done this mashing process should be done so mashing is nothing but if you add barley powder in and along with the water into that vessel then it will get converted into wort and you have to stir it continuously right and that process is called as mashing and this mashing will be done at the temperature of 75 degrees celsius for two to four hours you have to stir it continuously for two to four hours of course there are machines uh, which are provided in the industries and now what you are going to do is that here the product which has been obtained is nothing but the wort. So what is wort? That's nothing but the barley which is mixed with water is called as wort. Which has been mainly formed by the process of mashing. Right? So here the two processes has been completed. Milling as well as the mashing. And the next step what you are going to do is that filtration. So what happens in the filtration? So in this wort what will happen this barley powder will also be present i mean unwanted grains of this barley will also be present right so that unwanted barley grains will be removed from this wort right filtration is a process where the unwanted grains of that barley will be removed such that the filtered wort will be obtained so this is the process of the filtration so first step milling will be done second step mashing will be done and the third step filtration will be done so in the filtration the unwanted grains of barley will be removed from the wort such that the filtered wort will be obtained right and in the next step what you are going to do is that that filtered wort will get boiling it should undergo boiling that's nothing but the filtered wort should get boiled for two hours and during that boiling stage what you are going to do is that you are going to add this hops you are going to add this hops as if you see in the picture these are called as hops and those hops will be added to this filter wort during boiling stage and it should get boiled for two hours for two hours okay and now 
again after boiling the filtration should be done right and why are you going to do this filtration again because the here hops are uh, hops has been added right and the soluble hops will be will get soluble in this filtered water whereas insoluble hops will be removed due to this filtration process right so now what are the steps which you have performed here first one is milling such that it uh, barley will get converted into barley powder and in the second step what you are going to do mashing such that the bar barley water barley powder will be added into the vessel along with the water such that the mixture which will be obtained is nothing but the what where this process will be done for 75 degrees celsius temperature for 2 to 4 hours and now this what will get filtered such that the unwanted grains of the barley will be removed from that what to form filtered what right and now this filtered what will do will get boiling such that uh, during the process of this boiling the hops will be added and this boiling will be done for 2 hours such that uh, it forms the uh, product where that product will undergo the filtration such that the insoluble hops will be removed right and now what will happen is that now after this uh, removing of insoluble hops then the product will be obtained right some type of product will be obtained and that product will get cooled at 9 degrees celsius so there will be a refrigerators and in those refrigerators what happens this filtered wort which has been uh, this filtered hot which has been removed by this insoluble hops will get cooled at 9 degrees celsius right so now after cooling that wort will get added into the fermentation tank so before adding them into the fermentation tank the fermentation tank or as it is also called as fermenter it should be cleaned properly with water so after cleaning that fermentation tank then what you are going to do you are going to add that wort so along with that wort you are also going to add the yeast and here this yeast plays a major and vital role for the production of alcohol right so how it plays a major and vital role for the production of alcohol let us see so here without yeast the production of a beer doesn't occur alcohol is nothing but the beer right so without adding of this yeast the beer cannot be produced right so now in this fermentation tank you are going to add that wort and along with the wort you are also going to add the yeast and now we are going to switch on the fermentation tank we are going to on the switch of the fermenter such that the generator should also be supplied to the main board such that the fermentation uh, fermentation tank can perform its function uh, continuously and the fermentation process should be done for 7 days and here oxygen should be supplied through the inlet of the fermenter without oxygen also there will be no production of secondary metabolite where the fermentation doesn't occur properly with the absence of oxygen such that the oxygen should be should be supplied properly through the inlet of the fermenter right and now the fermentation process will be done continuously and during this fermentation i mean during the 7 days process what you are going to do is that you are going to add this adjuvants along with the water so by the adding of this water such that the alcohols can be produced i mean the beer can be produced and what are these adjuvants this adjuvants i have said you that this adjuvants includes rice corn and spices right so i have mentioned their spices because it can give taste to the beer so this adjuvants can give taste to the beer and here the water will be supplied along with the adjuvants during the fermentation process so what you are going to do during the fermentation process you are going to add the yeast and you are going to supply the oxygen and you are going to add the water and along with this adjuvants so these are the four uh, these are the four ingredients which are going to supply during the fermentation process so i have said you that the yeast plays a major and vital role during the fermentation right so how in such a way that the yeast can convert the sugars into alcohols as well as the carbon dioxide so sugars so nothing but sugars can be sugars are present in this wort right so we have added wort in this fermentation tank right and that wort consists of sugars we know that the barley consists of carbohydrates content right and the carbohydrates are nothing but the sugars so that sugars will get converted into alcohols along with the carbon dioxide right so the alcohols can be converted so how we can be converted it can be converted by using the yeast so in this way the yeast plays a major and vital role right and now the product is called as a secondary metabolite which has been obtained from the fermentation tank and that secondary metabolite or as the or as the filtered wort which has been done by this fermentation tank will undergoes again filtration right filtration of the product will be done product is nothing but the secondary metabolite which has been obtained from the fermentation tank okay that filtration will be done the product of the filtration will be again done such that the pure beer will be obtained the pure form of the beer will be obtained 
right so in the fermentation tank what you are going to do you are going to add all of these ingredients and the fermentation will be done with for seven days and after seven days what you are going to do the product you are going to open the tap of that outlet of that fermentation tank such that uh, the you know the beer will be obtained and the beer will be unpure form and that beer product which has which is unpure in form will undergo filtration such that the pure beer will be obtained by performing the filtration process so the next step which you are going to perform is maturation so in this maturation what you are going to do is that you are going to store this filtered pure beer into the wooden barrels or else it can also be stored in the metal wax right as if you see in the pictures these are called as wooden barrels and the down picture is nothing but the metal wax and you can store this pure filtered beer into this wooden barrels as well as this metal wax and you are going to stabilize them for 4 to 5 days i mean you are going to leave them for 4 to 5 days such that what will happen in that 4 to 5 days the flavors can be produced inside that beer right so that's only the main reason this maturation process will be done so in the next step what will happen the mature alcohol can be produced i mean the mature beer can be produced and now here the one of the most important step which you are going to perform is pasteurization so what is mean by pasteurization actually here the mature alcohol or as a mature beer has been produced by the maturation process right and that mature beer will be taken and the pasteurization process will be done pasteurization is nothing but we are going to kill the microorganisms by producing heat i mean you are going to take a, you are going to take some uh, year as if you see in the pictures these are the containers right and these are the containers where it consists of this mature alcohol or as a mature beer you are going to add this mature beer into that containers and you are going to uh, produce heat below them or else the heat will be supplied to them by electricity and then the microorganisms which are present in that mature beer will get killed right and that process is called as pasteurization so after pasteurization then the pure form of bread with the absence of microorganisms are produced and then they will be supplied in the bottles i mean they will be added in the bottles and they will be supplied to the markets after supplied them into the markets then the human beings will consume the alcohol or the beer right so this is about the production of beer so if you like my video you can subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box then you can i will be i'm going to clarify those immediately thank you